Hi everyone. For this week's Tableau Tip Tuesday, I'm going to show you how to create a waterfall chart in Tableau. To start with, I've gone ahead and pre-connected to the data. The first data set we're going to look at is this right here. It's pretty basic, so let me go ahead and zoom in a little bit. So you can see it just has a couple of revenue fields and then a couple of costs. Pretty simple. So if I go over here to my sheet 2, you'll see I've got a component and an amount. So the way to build a waterfall chart is to go ahead and drag the component to the columns and then the amount to the rows. But one of the things you'll notice is these are not ordered correctly. I want my revenue before my cost. So I'm going to go ahead and right click on component, go down to default properties and choose sort. And then I'm going to manually sort these. So I'm just going to move fixed product uh, revenue up and I'm going to move services revenue up. Hit OK. And now we get this nice little chart. You can see we've got uh, just a pretty simple bar chart here. The trick to making it a waterfall is you have to first change the mark type to Gantt bar. And then if I go ahead and put amount on the size to draw the bar, you'll see it's not quite drawing right. So there's a couple of tricks I need to do. First, I need to change my amount to be a running total. And then from there, I need to actually create a calculated field called the negative amount. And it's going to just simply be the minus of the amount. So I'm going to drag that onto size, and you can see we're now getting a nice waterfall. So we start here at 420,000. Our revenue increases to 630. We then lose a little bit of money, uh, which goes down to 460, and then uh, our, we end up at 320,000. So another thing you could do then is you could put them out on the color shelf, and you'll see we've got our reds and greens. Uh, you really shouldn't use those because they're not good for... Uh, colorblind folks, so I'm going to go ahead and change my default color palette to be, I like to use red and black for financial numbers, and I'm going to go ahead and force the center to zero. Okay, so there we go. And another thing I like to do is I like to go ahead and turn on the row grand totals. So there we go. So I'm going to go ahead and hide my field labels, and this is our uh, basic waterfall chart. All right, so pretty simple there. Maybe clean this axis up a little bit and get rid of the, the, uh, the title, and there we go. Okay, so uh, actually I'll probably go ahead and clean this up a little bit more. Maybe remove the, uh, the column dividers. Oops, sorry, wrong thing there. Uh, for the grand total, I'm going to go ahead and say uh, none. There we go, awesome. Okay, so uh, that is our basic waterfall chart, and I'll go ahead and save. Now the second one we're going to do is going to be like a financial waterfall. So let's go to a new sheet and you'll see I've got this financial waterfall data set. And if I flip back over here to Excel, you can see, uh, let me zoom in a little bit here. I've gone ahead and, and grabbed some data. I believe this is from Tableau's uh, filings for the last few years, 2011, 12, 13, and 14. Their SEC filings. And these are the different categories that they have in the filings. So in order, they go total revenue, cost of revenue, and then you have a couple of uh, cost items and then some income tax. And we've got the amounts here. All right, and I need these to be in this particular order. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and drag item to the columns, and you can see that these are not in the right order. So I'm gonna go ahead and change the default sort for my items, and I'm gonna put total revenue first, and then the other next item is cost of revenue and then research and development and then sales and general admin, additional income, additional expenses, and then income tax. Okay, excellent. Now maybe I can go ahead and I wanna break this down by year. So I'm gonna go ahead and put year in the column shelf as well. And then let me hide that. And I'm gonna do the same thing that I did with the basic waterfall. I'm gonna drag amount to the rows change it to a running total, but I need it to be a running total computing across the pane because I want it to restart every year. And uh, now I need to change my mark type to a Gantt bar. And I can go ahead and throw this on color for now. Oops, looks like I need to change my default colors again. So let's make it red and black and set the center to zero. Okay, very good. Uh, did I make that red, black, or red, white, and black? It looks like maybe I made it red, white, and black by accident. So uh, default properties, color, 
and I meant to choose red black. There we go. Okay, very good. All right, and again, we have to create that calculated field that for the negative amount that's going to actually draw our bars. So let's again call this negative amount, put a minus in front of it, hit OK, and then put that on the size shelf. And now you have a beautiful little uh, Gantt, Gantt chart, a little waterfall chart, and I'm going to go ahead and show my subtotals. And you'll see now I've got, uh, so in 2011, their uh, total was 300 and uh, let's see, 3.4 million just about, and then 1.4 in 2012, 7 in 2013, and 5.9 in 2014. Excellent. So uh, another way you could do this, if you want, you could maybe flip the chart, or how about you put year on the on the uh, rows. I don't particularly like that. Maybe if I flip it, it'll look a little bit better. Nah, I don't really like that either. So I'm usually not a fan of having to turn my head sideways to read these, but for uh, for this example, I'm just going to go ahead and leave it like that for now because it is a waterfall chart, which uh, typically reads like this. So um, that's about it. You see that looks pretty good. And uh, let's go ahead and name this, this sheet our financial waterfall. And that's all we have for this week. I hope this helps.